Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we are going to be looking at the simplest hybrid cannon in the game. There are a lot more hybrid cannons like this that are a lot more efficient, but I thought we'd just start off with the simple one to get into the age of the hybrid cannons. So what a hybrid cannon is, it is practically just a sand cannon and a TNT cannon merged into one, like this is here, and what that does is it fires sand and TNT at the same time. So what that allows us to do is get through these things that we call water walls. So if you have played on a faction server before, you will know what the, the hassle that these things cause. You cannot get through them with TNT normally, like this TNT cannon here. Because TNT, while it's in water, it does not blow up, any, up anything. Like here, it does not do a thing. So the one thing that we can do to stop these water walls and get through them is use one of these things that we call a hybrid cannon. Sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't. So if we press this button, we can see that the TNT, the sand will fall, but the thing is, the TNT, there we go, that's a good example. So we just blew a hole into a water wall. So if that was a base, we could just walk in like this, and there'd be like a bunch of chests full of god apples or something. So how this works is, the TNT is here, and the sand is on here. The TNT is activated, making the sand go into a fallen state. And before it hits the ground, it f is fired off. And that's how we worked it with the sand cannon as well. If you want to see that video, then there'll be a link in the description. But anyway, this is a pretty good example. So anyway, now let's get on with the tutorial. Okay guys, so to start this tutorial off, the first thing you're going to need is a 9x3 area, as well as some building blocks. 9 redstone repeaters, 6 redstone, 1 slab, 2 transparent blocks, 1 water bucket, 1 button, and of course sand and TNT. So the first thing you want to do is come up to the front here and make your big fat U shape as you normally do in these types of TNT cannons. Then you want to come to the front here and place a block here and here, as well as your 2 transparent blocks there, then your quartz or your slab there. Then you want to place a water bucket here. Then you want to come around the back here, place a block here and here. And then come down the side and place your button. Next thing you want to do is place redstone all the way along here, all the way to the transparent blocks. And then you want to get your repeaters and place them around in a circle like this. On four ticks delay, all the way up to your two high pillar at the end here. Now, this is very simple and very quick to build if you have all the resources in your inventory. So all you have to do now is place down the TNT, then the TNT here and the sand here, and then you can press the button. Also, one thing you can do to this is make a barrel for it, but that will make it go, that will make the sand go down and the TNT go higher. So the TNT will have to fall into the sand instead of the sand falling into the TNT which can be a little bit problematic at times. Also, the success rate of this thing is about 80%. Sometimes the sand will fall a little bit to the left or something, so be aware in mind that it's got a success rate of about 80%. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to see more, then please hit that like button. It motivates me to make more every week. Also, I am doing only redstone videos now, so if you want to check out the last one, then you can just click the link in the outro. And hope you guys will subscribe, that way you can see more and you'll be notified every time the new video comes out. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and bye from TNT Madness.